Here we go. Let's go to the new day. Morning. <coughs> Just arrived in Abu Dhabi. Uh, as I Just crossing the road. <laughs> Feeling like a knackered old man. Um, yeah, let's put that down. I'll put it on this cradle in a bit. Um, yeah, in Amber <coughs> A bit cold. Yeah, it's just got to me. Um, just had to run down and get the keys from the um, from the agent that looks after the place. Um, back back in Avidovi, as I said, uh, servicing the HKC alarm system. Um, yeah, two two and a half hours, two three quarter hours. It took me to get here. I erased it down. I'm in the worst car. I'm going to look after it. Um, yeah, two and, a half, two and a half, two and three quarter hours with a bit of a stop to get some petrol and a petrol gun up. Oh, flipping heck. Uh, I know quite a bit for coming over here and doing this alarm system. But uh, uh, with the price of petrol gone up, I estimate it's cost me 50 quid in petrol. Um, I should still make my, I'm, I'm, for what I'm charging the guy. Um, I still met my day, even though I'm on here for an hour. Um, but uh, tag along. Um, I'll show you another couple of pictures. I'm just outside the. Um, well, I'll just load about at the moment. I've just been and picked up the keys, like I said. Um, I'll twist it around so you can actually see. That's what I can see at the side of me at the moment. And there's a high street, etc. Um, and obviously, yeah, it's just about to make out the beach over there. Anyway, I'll um, I'll show you the view from where I actually service the alarm. Tag along. Hi, I'm um, arrived at the premises. Um, I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you the view from down the bottom of the steps. I've got to go up that way up about four flights of steps and um, the house is built into the cliff so i'm going to turn the camera around right folks that's what you see out the um out the um, lounge window is it a lounge window yeah um, yeah off the balcony uh so it's a kitchen stroke balcony window that you'll see this view at anyway that's the view I've got to crack on to the service. How about that for a view? Not bad for a house that's never lived in. Holiday on. Right. And first things first, let's turn the camera around. <coughs> getting up them steps at my age is getting a bit of a, uh, a traumatic thing. Right, how we got uh, HKC. Um, yeah, it's just basically a service test. I do remotely service this one once a month anyway. Um, I think I put on my last video, it was 150 odd mile away tonight, it's just, just over 100 mile away. Um, but it's obviously through rural Wales to get here. Um, it's HKC, decent coverage on the HKC here. Yeah. Um, obviously see a few cell sites. Um, I'm going to service upgrade it, etc. I'll try and show you some footage. As I am moving around the house, I'm not going to put the card in on that one. Um, what I have to do is go 
go through here into this cupboard here and uh, if you can see it there's a hardwired keypad I'm just going to put the card in there okay and uh, we're in service menu I can do everything else from the phone now just need to check the battery up there everything else has already been checked on the um, HKC upload download software let's hope my glasses turn white uh, obviously in photochromic so they're still looking like sunglasses they eventually go right anyway going upstairs I can do the service from there now oh, uh, First thing I do here. Oh, oh my knees. Uh, up these steps. Uh, the first floor, which is their dining area. And um, as you can see, the coffee implements are over there. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and get started. Okay. I'll keep on covering my finger up with the. In a bit. Right, I've got the uh, light off because once I put the light on, um, it's too bright for you to see on the screen. But on the screen at the moment, I've got firmware update. Now, that's the first thing I do when I'm, I'm servicing the system. So I'm going to go yes to firmware update. All right, and it's that, I'm asking me for the manufacturer's passcode. Now I do change it, so I'm just going to go out of sight. Okay, so it's waiting now for the smart link connection. Right, so I'm going to get out the camera and press the smart link connection. Right, service the alarm system, upgraded the firmware and uh, checked everything. The customer who lives over in France has had the signals come through to him so i know he's receiving the signals etc so we've had an upgrade on the firmware which uh, which i do every time i come over here the one thing that i did give the customer a choice of is replacing the control panel battery the battery was dated 2019 i would normally change it coming this christmas ish November, December this year, 2022. Um, it is at its highest point of its lowest charge, if you know what I mean. So um, by the time I come next time, it needs to be changed. It, it had got about 2.43 amps in it. And I think it gets cut off at 2.3. So it's ready to be changed. So um, I'll give the customer the uh, choice of changing it. Uh, unfortunately, um, I was called out last night for a battery. And I didn't have any on my um, vehicle. So no battery. 100 and odd mile away from home. In a place like that. Now, you Google nearest wholesalers, nearest um, City Electrics, nearest Denman's is about 50 mile away. Nearest City Electrics is 10 mile away. In that direction. I oh, got a boat. I know he's swimming, and I know he, he get me wellies on all the way over there. So I've had to go in the car. So what I ended up as a 10 mile straight journey, ended up as 29 mile 
to go and get a battery. Yes, we all live and learn, and I should have had more than one battery on the vehicle. Um, all the batteries that I use on this one are CR123As, which I've done. Um, the battery is checked regular and it would have lasted. It, it would have lasted until the next service, but I did give the customer the choice. And he says, well, regardless of the expense, um, it's best to go and change it. So I have done. Got a new one, just fitted it. I'm just waiting for it to charge up a bit so I can verify that it's okay. And then I'm off. 100 mile in it. Oh, 100 mile in anyway. I don't think so. Um, yeah. um, 100 mile back. So I've done a fair few miles today. So I've done 100 mile here. 30 mile to the new city electrics. 30 mile back. So that's 260 mile I've done today on the service. Uh, luckily, he will pay for the battery and the time and the labour, extra labour. He, he's not uh, adverse to doing that. Anyway, I'm going to mod in now. Have a look where I go. Oh, yes. A bit of sushi. Cool. Uh, just walking down to the seaside now. Uh, right. Hmm, I don't think that's right. Oh, let's go and have a look. Oh, I've just had my sushi. Yeah. Definitely smells the sea. That's people waiting to go on the boats and the canoes. Yeah. So Aberystwyth is 10 miles as the crow flies and 30 more by car. <laughs> what is that? Right. It's paid for. And have a look around here. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Quite calm, peaceful. There's a lobster pot. Or crayfish or whatever then. There's a hillside. Yeah. Uh, till December. TTFM.